I wanted to share some cheap and easy hacks I've had to come up with here in the garden. We have warm days but very cold nights and I'm trying to germinate um, germinate plants here. So uh, two of them are kind of mini greenhouse ideas if you don't have a greenhouse and the last one is I uh, guess where my potatoes are growing <laughs> and what I'm going to do about it from now on in. <laughs> I have simply wrapped all of my seed trays up in plastic and I take them off during the day. Here's what it looks like, one of them. And you can see they're germinating. They also don't dry out as fast. Sometimes I even take them, if the weather's nice and I'm at home, I take them and put them um, here on top of uh, the rocks here and let them air out and sunny and get uh, warmed up for putting them back underneath the uh, plastic. I wanted to show you something else I've done. I've made these little mini I guess greenhouses out of milk crates and some plastic and some uh, bubble wrap and uh, these zip ties. I need a little extra area to put things in, just a little coverage, and it's really worked well. Simple to do. I can stack them. Um, one side is open. I guess I could close that at some point if I wanted even more coverage, but this seems to be enough. I've got some peppermint growing here. I got that from a friend of mine, the one who grows everything in refrigerators. And I talked to him today and uh, we're going to do a little YouTube video about how he does that. Um, so I pulled out some, uh, some of his uh, peppermints and I'm trying to get them back up to speed. Most of them are. This one's lagging a little bit, but we'll give them all time. Also wanted to show you this. Uh, potatoes growing in the compost. I have a couple of tubs like this. I was pulling them out in the past. Now I'm just going to let them live. I was at the dump and got some more containers. And what I think I'm going to do is just make one or two of them dedicated potato compost, uh, compost containers. I'm just going to do my usual composting thing, except only put potato peels in one or two of them. Uh, this is one of the two uh, containers I have filled with potatoes. So might as well just take advantage of the fact they want to grow here, right? The success of the potatoes has inspired me to go out and get uh, one or two organic yams and, and start those up too. Evidently, even organic, uh, like root vegetables, has uh, sometimes it has this no sprout type um, coating on it, spray coating. That means even if you have, you know, something organic, it won't sprout. So I have read that you can wash that off with Dawn dish soap, maybe once or twice, scrub it off and it'll come off and start to sprout. So I'm gonna give that a try. Anyway, that's what I'm up to here. Hope your gardens are going good. You're enjoying this beautiful weather. Thank you so much for watching.